Martin Truex Jr. went winless last season for the first time since 2014. He failed to make the playoffs. The 42-year-old driver candidly acknowledged that retirement wasn't out of the question. In the summer, the 2017 Cup Series champ announced he would be returning in 2023. Naturally, his fans are wondering if he'll be around in 2024. His win on Monday at Dover would definitely go in the plus category for him to return next year. Interestingly, what he said after the race effectively confirmed that he would be returning in 2024, and the driver also surprisingly revealed who he wants to be his replacement whenever his racing days are over. No one could blame Martin Truex Jr. for having a bad feeling on Monday at Dover when the caution flag flew with 14 laps to go and him running up front. He had been here before, multiple times in fact, since the start of the 2022 season and each time it didn't end well. Flashback to last year in New Hampshire and one of the many times the number 19 car had speed. The Joe Gibbs racing driver won the pole led a race-high 172 laps, and swept both of the first stages in the July race. On a late restart after taking two tires, he got caught up in traffic behind cars that had stayed out, fell back, but eventually recovered to finish fourth. Truex led at Homestead going down pit road on the race's final caution, but failed to see his pit stall and pull over in time and got bumped from behind by Kyle Larson, which bizarrely sent the number 19 car sliding backward into its box. Opportunity lost. He finished sixth. Things appeared to be turning around for the driver to open the 2023 season when a caution didn't come out and he finally claimed victory in the clash of the Coliseum but that was an exhibition. Those all too familiar feelings of uneasiness returned last month at Richmond when he was in position late to win his first points paying race, but a caution and a strategy call earlier in the day led to the number 19 car fading outside of the top 10 at the checkered flag. On Monday, Truex once again saw the yellow lights flashing late, but he would not be denied this time. He beat Ryan Blaney from the outside before holding off a hard-charging Ross Chastain to claim the win and snap his 54-race winless streak dating back to September 2021 at Richmond. During the post-race celebration, Truex visited with Sirius XM NASCAR radio reporter Claire B. Lang about ending his lengthy drought and getting his first win in a long time while watching his younger brother Ryan record his first-ever Xfinity win, running a limited six-race schedule. That's when, out of the blue, the driver brought up his own retirement and interestingly offered a time frame for when it might happen while suggesting that he'd like his brother to replace him in the number 19 cup car. It would be so awesome one day if when I retire I could get him in this car of mine, you know. Um, but for now we need to get some sponsors and we need to get him in that 19 Xfinity car more often and get him full time and get him a championship there. Lang followed up and asked the driver if he'd lobby with Coach Gibbs for his brother to replace him when he does decide to hang up the helmet one final time. You know, we, we, we got to take it one step at a time. We need to get him full time in Xfinity. And, um, you know, with the right team and the right guys like he's got now that he's working with, you know, he's a, he's a championship contender right from day one. Um, you know, so we just need to find a way to get that deal put together for next year. And uh, everybody's working hard on it. And, I'm, and you know, obviously, that win's got to do a lot. I hope it. I hope it does enough. You know, because I'm I'm his biggest fan, and and I know he can get it done. Truex's perfect scenario would be that Ryan lands a full time ride in Xfinity in 2024, which, according to the driver, many folks are diligently working on behind the scenes to secure the sponsor dollars and make it happen. If his younger brother goes out and performs well, and who knows, maybe even wins the championship like Martin believes he can, that would be the perfect segue for Ryan to get promoted to the Cup Series and replace his older brother. Interestingly, you could add a year if Ryan needs an extra year to establish himself, and then he makes the jump and replaces Martin in 2026. So we may not know the exact time of Truex's retirement based on what he said on Monday, but we know it will not be in 2024, and it's not hard to see how that win in Dover only solidified his future plans.